really have become more and more convinced that that if God were to be sitting right in our circle right now, and you know, God might I say, "I thought God is here." Well, I think so yeah. too. But if God were to actually have a voice and just articulate what God <laughs> might say, might say, you know, Aria, Eric, Chris, you know, you guys got a lot of great things going for you. You got a lot of great things to help help with this uh, you, towards world peace and ecological sustainability. And we'll say, "Oh yeah, thank you, thank you very much." Uh, but you know, we're still missing a few things, and God would probably tell us. Well, yeah, I, I, but I've already provided them. We're saying, well, where, where? And he said, well, I gave those those insights and those understandings to your enemies. You know, so go, go, and and love them and hug them. Yes, and, yeah. and find, uh, you know, the greatest way to deal with an enemy, to destroy an enemy, is to love them and and to create a friend. Um, I think uh, this is a uh, Nachman of Bratzlav, a, a rabbi that uh, taught us, all of us, that uh, at the core of every hindrance, there is also the divine solution. So we just need to be able to face it, not go around it, not go under or above, but just to face the hindrance, go into it, similar to the way Moses walked into the thicket on the top of the mountain to bring back the commandments. So there is a solution already available. The fact that we are blind, that's our problem. <laughs>